Hello and welcome back to our course on Management Information Systems. In this sequence of videos that constitute a unit, we are going to talk about MIS and strategy. What is strategy? Well, a strategy is a plan or policy or line of action which is designed to achieve a larger purpose. A strategy establishes an overarching pattern of action and responses. A strategy helps in determining what actions an individual or an organization might take in a sp specific situations and it also outlines what actions an individual or organization may not take. So organizations depending on their situation may approach the market employing different kinds of strategies. And we can see how MIS can support organizational strategy. Let's take an example. And this is in the context of technology. Let's consider a company such as Apple, very popular, very well known, a very innovative company. Apple might base its entire business strategy on consistently delivering most innovative products and services of the highest quality. So the strategy involves innovative products, high quality, consistently. There may be another organization which might serve the same market but its strategy might be to offer the lowest prices. So they, they focus on delivering the same kinds of products but at the lowest prices. Apple's prices are not the lowest but their focus is on quality and innovation. Yet another organization strategy might be to deliver the greatest variety of products. Apple for instance delivers only a few kinds of products. Another company might deliver many different kinds of products. And it might serve the largest number of markets. So we have three different strategies. High quality, high innovation. That's one strategy. Low cost is another strategy. Great variety and large number of markets. That's the third strategy. Three different kinds of strategies. And you can come up with lots of different strategies. So here you are, you have an Apple iPhone, a Micromax smartphone. Apple phones are very high quality, they are very innovative, they are always the first to come up with a variety of features and they also cost a lot. Okay? High quality, high innovation and high cost. Micromax on the other hand, they do not lead generally with new features, but they cost less. They are some of the least expensive smartphones in the market. Two different strategies. An MIS for an organization is like its nervous system. An MIS delivers, carries information throughout the organization. And it's very crucial and critical to the well-being of an organization. An MIS is what makes an organization responsive or unresponsive, as the case may be. The MIS, since it is the nervous system of an organization, it must support the organization strategy in every way. And the MIS should be designed to be aligned with the strategy. So this is why one should be aware of what an organization strategy is and its elements. So typically most organizations, large organizations certainly are structured like pyramids. You have top management, you have middle management and then you have the bottom or the front line. And the kind of MIS does, that is designed for each of those layers is necessarily different based on strategy. Michael Porter has provided a, an excellent model for understanding how strategy affects competition for an organization. 
Here is Michael Porter's competitive forces model. So the first kind of competition according to Porter comes from those who are already in the industry, other organizations that are your competitors in your industry, well identified and you know who they are. They provide similar kinds of products and services. Next you have potential entrants. There might be new companies that enter providing the same or similar kinds of products and services. There are new entrants. Then you have substitutes. You have products and uh, services that are not the same but could provide a similar kind of function. In the soft drink market you have Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Okay? Coca-Cola and Pepsi are similar but then you may have a different soft drink for instance a mango juice or some other fruit juice which is not the same as a cola but a substitute product. So you have the incumbent competitors, new entrants and substitutes because all of them provide competition in the sense they force you to either upgrade your product, change your product, reduce prices and so on and so forth. But then there is also competitive forces coming from your suppliers as well as your customers. If there is a small number of suppliers or if there is a single supplier in the marketplace, the supplier has the option to either sell components to your organization or to others. So it is a monopolistic situation. So you have to convince the supplier to supply it to you rather than someone else. Likewise customers, customers have the option of buying products from your organization or some other organization. So they have a certain bargaining power compelling you to change your product, introduce new products or reduce prices and so on and so forth. So in this kind of situation what kind of competitive strategies could an organization adopt with the use of MIS. One strategy is overall cost leadership. In other words, ensure that your prices are always the lowest. How do you do it? In the case of Walmart as well as Amazon, they use their technology to ensure that to the minute they know what prices are selling in various marketplaces and they ensure that their prices are the lowest at any point in time. Another thing that Walmart does is Walmart and Amazon, they connect the MIS to the management information systems of their suppliers. So the suppliers know exactly what product is in stock or is not in stock and automatically supply their products to their stores. So Walmart will never be out of stock on any product, especially products that sell a lot. A second strategy is differentiation. In other words, how do your products differ from those of the competition? Dell computers introduced the idea of build to order. In other words, you can customize your computer that you buy to your specific needs. Rather than going and buying what's there in the store, you buy a computer exactly to your specifications. That is, so you place an order and the, the information is immediately transmitted to the supplier. They build a computer to your specifications and ship it to you. Competitive advantage. Then there is focus. That is a strategy. Focus uses business analytics. In other words, you analyze the data that you are getting about the marketplace you identify and own a specific segment. You say, for instance, low cost scooters or scooters that are targeted primarily at women okay, or vehicles that are targeted at farmers, computers meant for executives. So these are niche segments. So that is focus. So these are different ways in which MIS can be used to help support a competitive strategy.